Good day everyone! In this video, you will learn how to divide polynomials with quadratic divisor using synthetic division. For example number 1, we will be dividing these polynomials. So to divide polynomials with quadratic divisor, the first step is you have to write the numerical coefficients of your dividend. But before you do that, you have to make sure that your dividend is arranged in decreasing power of x. And there must be no missing terms. So in this example, it's actually arranged in decreasing power of x. So we will just proceed to writing the numerical coefficients. So we have positive 2, positive 11, positive 9, negative 15, positive 10, and then negative 2. Don't forget to carry the sign of the numerical coefficients. And in this process, we have four rows here. Row 1 contains the numerical coefficients of your dividend. Row 2 here will contain all the products of the, the second divisor. Row 3 will contain all the products of the first divisor. And row 4 will contain all the sum of each column. Let's proceed to our divisor. To be able to get the numerical coefficients of your divisor, we have to follow this formula. So we have b divided by negative a and then c divided by negative a. The values of a, b, and c are found in your quadratic divisor. So for the value of a, a is the numerical coefficient of your x squared, b is the numerical coefficient of x, and then c is a constant from the quadratic divisor. So we have here, a is equal to 1, and then b is equal to 3, c is equal to negative 1. Take note that the negative sign in our denominator here is a constant. So you just have to carry that one, whether the value of a is a positive or negative. So let's simplify our synthetic divisors. 3 divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 3, negative 1 divided by negative 1 is equal to positive 1. Let's write our synthetic divisor in its place. So let's write here negative 3 and then positive 1. Then let's proceed. But before that, take note that we will be using two operations repeatedly, and that is multiplication and then addition. And also, don't forget that we will be multiplying twice because we have two divisors here. So, the first thing is first, you have to bring down the leading coefficient and then proceed to two operations. 2 times negative 3 is equal to negative 6. Write negative 6 in row 3, second column. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Write positive 2 in row 2, third column. And then we add the next column, 11 plus negative 6 is equal to positive 5. Then repeat the process. 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. Write negative 15 in row 3, third column. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Write positive 5 in row 2, fourth column. And then we add the third column. 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. 11 plus negative 15 is equal to negative 4. And then repeat the process. Negative 4 times negative 3 is equal to positive 12. Write positive 12 in row 3, fourth column. Negative 4 times positive 1 is equal to negative 4. Write negative 4 in row 2, fifth column. And then we add the fourth column equal to positive 2. Let's multiply positive 2 to our divisors. We have 2 times negative 3 is equal to negative 6. Write negative 6 in row 3, fifth column. And then 2 times 1 is equal to positive 2. Write positive 2 in row 2, the last column. And then let's add the fifth column. We have positive 10 plus negative 4 is equal to positive 6. Positive 6 plus negative 6 is equal to 0. So since our sum here is 0, no need to multiply that to our divisors because it's useless. So we will just proceed in adding the last column. We have negative 2 plus 2. That's also equal to 0. The last two coefficients here 
are your remainder. So let's write our quotient. Take note that you have to divide the leading literal coefficient of your dividend and the leading literal coefficient of your divisor. We have x raised to 5 divided by x squared. That's equal to x cubed. That means in writing our quotient, we will begin with x cubed together with the numerical coefficients. So let's write that 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x plus 2. Then that's the final answer. Let's go to the next example. Let us divide these polynomials. We will follow the same process. Let's proceed to getting the numerical coefficients of our dividend. It's arranged and it has no missing terms. Let's just write the numerical coefficients. We have positive 5, negative 6, positive 10, positive 4, positive 13, and then negative 6. Take note that we have 4 rows here. Let us proceed to our divisor. To get the numerical coefficients of our divisor, we will be following this formula. B divided by negative A, C divided by negative A. The value of A here is 1. The value of B here is negative 2, and the value of C is positive 3. Let's just simplify our synthetic divisors. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is equal to positive 2. Positive 3 divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 3. Let's write our synthetic divisors in its place. And then let's proceed. Take note, we will be using two operations repeatedly that is multiplication and then addition let us first bring down the leading coefficient so let's bring down 5 then proceed to multiplication and then addition remember you have to multiply twice because we have two divisors so 5 times 2 is equal to positive 10 you write positive 10 in row 3 column 2 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. Write negative 15 in row 2, third column. And then after that, we will add the second column. Take note, add column one at a time. Negative 6 plus 10 is equal to positive 4. And then we go back to the two operations. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Write 8 in row 3 third column. 4 times negative 3 is equal to negative 12. Write negative 12 in row 2, fourth column. And then we add the third column. Positive 10 plus negative 15 is equal to negative 5. Negative 5 plus 8 is equal to positive 3. Then multiply again. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Write 6 in row 3, fourth column. 3 times negative 3 is equal to negative 9. Write negative 9 in row 2, 5th column. And then we add the 4th column. 4 plus negative 12 is equal to negative 8. Negative 8 plus 6 is equal to negative 2. And then we multiply and then add again. Negative 2 times positive 2 is equal to negative 4. Write negative 4 in row 3, 5th column. Negative 2 times negative 3 is equal to positive 6. Write positive 6 in row 2, last column. And then we add the fifth column. We have positive 13 plus negative 9 is equal to positive 4. Positive 4 plus negative 4 is equal to 0. Again, if this is already 0, no need to multiply that one again because it's actually just 0. Let's just add the last column. Negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Our two zeros here are our remainder. Let's write our quotient. Take note that you have to divide the leading coefficients. x raised to 5 divided by x squared is equal to x cubed. Let's begin with x cubed together with the numerical coefficients. We will be writing our quotient in this form. 5x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 2. That is the final answer. That's all for today. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you learned so much today about our discussion. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to update you on my next videos.